This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. We are going to have a look at how you can control and change the font size color of text and the paragraph alignment and the bullet points, etc. during the rest of this chapter. But firstly, if we have a look at how to apply a theme, because a theme takes hold of a font and applies it throughout every slide, a style and applies it throughout every slide. And by using a theme, you can keep your presentation consistent all the way through from slide to slide. Rather than jumping from one font size to another, or one typeface to another, or one color to another, although this is obviously possible, but the best presentations are consistent from beginning to end. They retain the same typeface, but when you move from one slide to the next, the headings are the same font size. This heading's the same, it's not bigger, it's not bolder, it's not a different color. We got the next slide, this is the same, it's not a different color, etc. Well, that can all be controlled across your whole presentation by applying a theme. And in fact, even what looks like a blank presentation here has a theme applied to it, and it's the office theme. And down in the states bar at the bottom, we can see it says there office theme. And that's what's controlling the font size, color of the text, the background color, even though it's black and white, and the typeface is Calibri headings for the headings on all the slides, size 24. If we want to change the theme away from this basic office theme into perhaps something a little more exciting maybe, then we can go to design on the ribbons. You can see this whole middle section here. There are some themes to choose from and there is a little pop out button. So you can see all the available themes on your machine. So I could choose this bluey color and that gets applied all the way through. And you can see that down this left, all the slides respond. They all have this sort of swish bar, blue, white text for a heading, dark blue, light blue bullet points. The whole font type of thing is consistent through every single slide. And you can just change to another presentation theme in seconds. You can see how this one actually makes the text boxes go at an angle. The next one goes the other way, and that one goes that way, and that way. This theme not only has changed the background color, size of font, etc., it's even changed the placement of the boxes on the slide. Now we could choose that one. So, a little cooler as themes go, or a greeny one. Yike. Or a gray one. Now, if you hover over any of the themes, they will be applied to the slide you're currently looking at which allows you to just see it in quickly to say, oh, I like it, I don't like it. You can see it only applies it to the slide you're currently on, not to all the slides, because the ones in the mini slide navigator bar on the left do not change. So as you click, then they do change. It's then applied to every slide. So this is the theme. There are quite a few themes to choose from, or you can browse for further themes on your hard drive if you've perhaps downloaded any from the web or someone sent you one by email saying this is a good theme, use this. I'm gonna stick with that, that one there. So in the bottom left stage bar, it says that this theme is called Culture and every slide responds. So it's controlling background graphic, background colors, typeface, the location of boxes. So you can see that the title box here has actually moved down to allow for the background to show through, the font size, the bullet point that's being used, the placement of the placeholders. Notice that the only item that will not respond to a theme, certainly in its location, are any text boxes you have placed manually, like this one here. This is for information. Is it exactly the same place as it was when I placed it on the slide? So there's another reason really for sticking with the standard layout slides, because the placeholders will move as the theme takes effect. You make your decision. And at any stage, you can always go back to the fairly basic one, which is the office theme, which is always in the top left position here. So once you've made a decision on your theme, so if we go for one of the fancier ones, let's choose that Couture one again. What you'll find is the theme colors are then the ones that you can choose when you look to change colors. For example, if I wanted to change the color of weather here, I would highlight the word, Go to the home ribbon and in the drop down for the font color, you can see the initial choice is only to be allowed to choose colors from the existing theme. 
That way it helps the consistency of the presentation. There's nothing to stop you then choosing standard colors or more colors, where you can then choose any color you like, but the initial setting is to stick with one of the theme colors. That way it keeps the presentation consistent all the way through and just helps improve its presentation. So that's using one of the built-in themes that come with PowerPoint. Onto the design, choose the theme from the list at the top. And this can be done at any stage, at the beginning or at the end when you've actually finished and got the presentation ready.